Good morning, Cadre. It's Wednesday, September 12th, and uh, I've got something I got to live up to today. Um, so, as you guys know, the Cadre started about six months ago, and um, what that means is, when well, really it's been a vision for long, for longer than that, but we're at you know six months of being open, operating as a forum, we're growing every day. We're, in my opinion, we're putting out amazing content thanks to all of you guys who are doing the videos, the posts, just everything in general. It's just excellent. So for today's shave, obviously there was nothing better to wear than the Shaving Cadre t-shirt. So got that on, um, but yes, Today is the day we finally hit 100 members. So what that means is, is that I'm going to remove this and this today. So see how it goes. Uh, my weapon of choice is going to be this. It has a Feather Pro blade in it, not the Pro Guard. So I'm a little nervous about it. I haven't shaved this area for a year now. So I want to make sure that you know I don't cut myself. So. Cleanup passes are probably going to be done with this guy around that area for sure. Um, but regardless, it's going to get removed. Anyways, today the soap that I'm going to use, and I can tell you right now, I've got it right here with a little bit of water on it. Right there, I can smell it big time. This is a strongly scented one. Now, I'm not going to butcher the name, but I'm using the CBL soap Rosa Borgonia. That's how I assume it is pronounced. This is his uh, premium tallow version with the Wagyu beef, everything, all the other goodies in there. Um, so right here, I'm gonna get this used. This one did come with a side label, so I did put a little bit of bloom in there after I kind of repressed and leveled uh, the soap out a little bit. So let's get the bloom water applied. Let's just jump right into this, because I don't know how long this is going to be. I hope not too long. I don't think it should take that much longer. So, but I know you guys are sad to see the it go. And I trust me, I get it. I mean it's a sad day for sure, so um but you know what? I I'm gonna live up to my promise. So we're gonna do it. Um, anyways, I've got soaking in my Old Spice bowl. I have, of course, I figured since this is all about members and getting members and adding additional content to the site, what better brush to use than the TSC member brush? So, that's what we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and begin the loading process. Just trying to load here off the puck. I'm going to make the lather in my Captain's Choice bowl. Figure that way I can have extra and can reapply to the face and that area is necessary. I, it, this could be slow going, so I hope it's not. I mean, yes, I haven't shaved there for a while, but I'm more nervous about cutting myself. Um, I've got a pretty important business meeting today. Um, some of you guys know that um, at where I work, I've mentioned it in the past briefly, we have these things that we call ERGs, they are employee resource groups. And I was asked to chair the um, HMV, is what it's called. And what it is, is um, honoring military and veterans. And so the meeting that I'm going to go have is I'm going to go meet with our local Fisher House. Those of you that don't know about the Fisher House, um, it's a great nonprofit that provides housing for families near hospitals where um, the military member of the family is in the hospital. So at our local Fisher House, it's one of the biggest in the nation up there at the University of Utah Hospital. They have, um, they get people going in for recovering from amputations, getting cancer treatment. So it could be somebody coming home from active duty. It could be somebody, it could be a veteran. It doesn't matter. Um, 
and it's for people that have to travel in. So, for instance, we are surrounded by some rural, more rural states like Wyoming, parts of Idaho, southern Idaho, um, stuff like that. And so they, veterans that live there, have to come, or even southern Utah, for example, have to come up here. And the families want to be with them, you know. Think about it this way. Think about your young child with your mom and dad, and dad or mom is going through cancer treatments, and they got to travel to Salt Lake, Utah. That could be four hours away from where you live. This gives them an opportunity to come with the other parent and live in this house. So we're trying to build a relationship with the Fisher House here where our company and our members of HMV can build a lasting relationship to where that my company becomes a long-standing partner with the Fisher House. We want to not only be able to donate money where they need it, but complete service projects. We want to be able to provide activities for the families to do that are staying at the Fisher House. We want to send executives up or managers up and actually cook meals you know, for these people. You know, we want to go and take families out to whether it's like a baseball game, a hockey game, a football game, a basketball game, whatever it is. We just want to be a lasting partner. So I'm going up there today to uh, um, make our pitch, which shouldn't be a hard pitch, but to also tour the Fisher House, meet some of the families, and most importantly, I think, come to an understanding. So, and I just realized, guys, look what I didn't cover. So, it, it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. So, don't worry, Josh. If this is that upsetting for you, I'll grow it back for you, but only for you. The funny thing is, is that my wife's you know, still asleep over there. She's got no idea this is coming off today. I didn't tell her. She knew about the challenge and she'd ask, you know, where are you guys at? How many members are you at now? And I'd be like, oh, well, we're hit 95 or we hit, you know, whatever. So she was, you know, she was one of the biggest people that was against it. What was funny is when I first told her about the, um, me telling you guys, get to 100, I'll shave it off. She said, what? She's like, I've actually kind of started to like it. I was like, yeah. Well, I've got to be careful, because that's where those couple of cuts were. From Murphy the other day, and I reopened one of them up yesterday. I really don't want a Murphy visit today. But I will tell you guys, is it's interesting how easy you get into just used to what you're going to do. Like, didn't even ladder that spot, wasn't, you know, was ready to go, so. Um. right up there. There's the first couple of hairs. Alright, let's do this. Alright. 
I know a lot of you have already used this soap already and have talked about it. Um, there's nothing else that I can really add. The scent's amazing. The rose scent is absolutely wonderful. So, hmm, haven't seen a better lip in over a year. It's happening. So. side of the chin so I'm not making this eventful for you guys I guess but see that's the part where I know I'm gonna get cut if I go in there, just haven't shaved this area as often, obviously, in a year. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm definitely... I mean, it's residual slickness and stuff is there, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that for a cleanup there. Should I just leave that? Hmm? No. I can't pull that type of stuff off. Some of you guys do. No. I got a little tiny pinprick right there. Nothing bad though. Okay, okay gonna pause you, rinse, come back for pass two. Should go quicker. Okay, I'm back. So I know, you know, that was like kind of the butt of the jokes, and it was funny, and I agree. I mean, it's. I know it wasn't great, but you know what? It was more of a proof of concept to me that, because when I was younger, I had grown like blonde and everything, you know? It's like, I, I'm, I'm quarter. I, I mean, I'm, you know, like I got half, I'm half Mexican. You know, I should be able to get, you know, a dark hair growth of some sort. So, one second, guys, we can't, there we go. Got my brightness down, and I know it's, I know my lighting isn't the best, but, I knew it looked better than that, so I need to be able to see better. So, but anyways, so I knew, you know, it was more of a proof of a concept to myself originally. Let's see how it goes. Um, but I admit, I'm more of a clean shaven guy. I think that's the best look on me. So, hmm. Who knows? In a couple of years, maybe I'll try it again. And I hope you guys are around when I do. So, hope the cadre is still around when I do. I don't think we're going anywhere. I think we're growing pretty good. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. So, I've got a lot of uh, fun stuff coming up too. Getting ready. Um, spike timber is going great. One that everyone should know is coming is October. Expect that thread. My plan is to probably post that on the 15th. Um, might go up sooner. We'll see. But I want to post a thread. F 
for um, the October themes. There's really kind of three big ones that happen. I don't know if one of them will happen here because I just don't know if the guys here actually use that soap very often. But um, Razor Rocktober will be one of them. Tobacktober will be part of it. And the other one is Locktober for a Loctane, which I used to have. We went to somebody. My memory doesn't serve me well. It was Badger and Blade days, and I actually think it went to Doug. To be honest with you, it's a good soap. Don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to try. Well. I just don't even remember how to... I'm going to have to go back and watch videos on how to shave this thing. I'm going to cut myself. I'm putting that right So let's see. I need a little bit of touch up here. A little bit of touch up here. I've got to finish this. I can feel the rose oils. Usually I don't. But I think just because I haven't shaved in that area for so long, I think it's like a little bit of a raw feeling. I can I can feel a little bit of a burn there. But the I don't feel it anywhere else on my face and it's not like a burn like a allergic burn. So I don't think it's that, which is good because I don't this soap is probably very easily now my favorite rose scented soap. I don't do what I call the fool's pass. Going right there. Mm -mm -mm. I've done that once. Cut right there. Whew, that was bad. Never doing that again. I'm like, I get close enough for this area. I'm pretty much BBS when I do. I do not need to go against the grain there. Here I do. But I remember it's got to be very careful, no pressure. So. Okay. Um, not the best. A couple pin pricks there, but... Okay. I'm gonna pause you, do a little bit of cleanup, and I'll be right back for post. Okay, I'm back, cleaned up, ready to go. Um, after shave, for whatever reason, whenever I use a rose scented soap, this is the scent that always jumps into my head that I want to use. Um, some people love it, some people hate it. Um, it's 4711. In my opinion, this is one of those scents after shaves comes in a nice glass bottle that everybody needs to have. This is my opinion with the, uh, you know, it's a technique, you can find it in some stores, but it, I put it in the same categories as it's uh, your store brands, you know, your Aqua Velvas, your, you know, stuff like that. But this is one that most people tend to not have. In my opinion, they should. It's good juice. I like it a lot. Um, and for whatever reason, I think it pairs perfectly with rose scented soaps. A little bit of burn around there. Not bad though. Just a little bit. But all in all, good shave. Okay, there's my shave today. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to finish getting ready for work. Um, if you guys haven't joined us at the Cadre, hit us up at www.theshavingcadre.com. Pay close attention to the forms. I've got a new thread starting for October um, by the end of the week. We've got a couple of, uh, we've got another big thing happening on the form. I'll say it's going to drop before October 1st. So, one last plug. We've been talking a lot about CBL soap. One of the things that he put on there at a very good price, I think it's $10, and it's his CBL um, Bristle and Stone Cleaner. This is a soap that he made specifically designed to clean brushes that I primarily use it for because I don't hone, but also honing stones. If you guys have not purchased this yet and you've got brushes that you've been using for a few years, I will tell you right now that I took one of my bore brushes that I thought was completely dead, that I couldn't get a lather out of it anymore. I figured I just basically oversplayed the bristles. I took it to this, cleaned it. I've been using that bore brush, that Omega now, on, um, not the Omega, sorry, the, uh, what's it called? This guy, Smoke Owners Club. It completely revived it. I've been using it for some nightly lathers and it's providing some good uh, lathers now. It's back to where, where I remember it. So buy that if you haven't, I think it's good. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys all have a great Wednesday. I'll work on getting this uploaded and I'll see you guys on the forums.